Hello, we are here on the A16Z podcast with the writers and makers of the 5.0 app. Um, with us, I have three awesome American teenagers, um, and uh, they, unlike most of us, when they watched what was happening in Ferguson, um, most people like me sat there, read about it, got really upset, got frustrated, and then did nothing. Um, but uh, these kids watched it, saw what was going on, and said, look, we can do something. We're going to build an app uh, that allows citizens to review police officers and in this way make the whole policing process much more transparent and much uh, more like something that will work well in the future. And so we're very excited to have Caleb, Ima, and Asha here. And uh, we'll get started. So, Ima. Yes, thank you for having us. Why, uh, what made you want to build 5.0? Okay, well, we started developing this app about six months ago. And what really made us decide to start developing it was, um, you know, it was more so a culmination of everything that was going on in the media at the time. Um, and also we had some family members who'd also had some negative interactions um, with law enforcement and that's something that had always been on our minds. We talked to our parents often about these issues and they try to put everything into context for us and one of the things they really tried to focus and tell us was um, to focus on finding solutions and from there that's how we decided to develop an app. Um, we just threw all of ideas on the whiteboard and we started thinking about every component that could go into an app like this and that's how we came up with 5.0. Wow, and so, Asha, when you, you know, normally if a family member has a run-in with the police that's negative, um, that's going to cause more rage than kind of constructive thinking. So how did you get to the point where you said, look, let's take a systematic approach and, you know, try and fix the whole system as opposed to just get mad at uh, a police officer? Right. So um, our family, will, all three of us, we've been working on coding and um, we've been involved in tech since we were in middle school. So we've had a little bit of background in that. Um, we also have close family friends who are police officers. So we know for a fact that all of them aren't corrupt. And um, we don't believe that we don't hate all police officers and we don't believe that they're all um, bad. So we, we, we think of ourselves as problem solvers, and we use tech as our medium to solve that problem. Um, we, just, we, we just felt like it was a great problem that was going on throughout the community, and instead of becoming mad, like you said, we just felt that it was great for us to um, channel that into an app and really channel that into determination to get the app out. Great. So we have a real uh, tech audience here on the A16Z podcast. So, Caleb, can you take us through a little bit of uh, how you architected the application, what the components are, what tools you used? Well, we used a cloud-based SDK program called AppRead.io. And um, some features in the app, we have an incident report where you basically go through and you log the, what, ha what happened and things like that. And then we have... Asha knows a lot of functions, but um, we also have a message board where you can post um, things that you want to go out to your community, and you can also review cops by their um, badge number and things like that. So, yeah. Right. Um, uh, well, this is Asha, and on the application, we also have features where anyone who lives... Well, actually, you don't have to live in your, that community, yeah. but anyone can go and um, search up the reviews that have been made based on county, zip code, and state, and you can look at all the review descriptions, and you can... Um, read about the rating that that county has, and just basically get an idea of what the interactions with law enforcement within that area have been. And we also have a function that's GPS. So let's say you're traveling and you don't know where you are and it's the middle of the night and you could just open up the phone and click it and you automatically get your address, the address of where you are, and you also see it on a map. So, yeah. Also, we have a Know Your Rights section of the app, and that's for whenever you're in a situation and you're not sure exactly how to handle yourself or you're dealing with law enforcement and you don't know what steps you can take or what rights you have, we have a Know Your Rights section, so you really just have that information, which is provided from the ACLU at your fingertips. Wow, so <clears throat> we have a special guest here, uh, the greatest lyricist of all times, Nas, just walked into the podcast environment. And Nas, what do you think about these kids? I think these kids are, are great, and um, they are coming up with solutions to problems that we don't know 
what to do. You know, it's like um, we do. I do also, you know, have experiences with police, you know, that weren't so great coming up. So, you know, but then, like they say, there's some good cops out there, too. I know some policemen who are really good. And I think they should even support this. I think the police should um, know that this is something that's positive and this is something that's good for the whole community. It just makes everything better. So uh, you kids have been out here now in Silicon Valley for a day. Um, right. You had some interesting visits. So, uh, Asha, why don't you tell us about some of the places that you went and what you think? Um, well, one of the major places we went to today is Facebook, and we just absolutely loved the environment. Um, it was great, just, just the way everyone treated us and the way they treated each other, and just it, it was there was so much the energy the whole vibe at facebook was just very um welcoming and happy and we just loved it and i mean i can literally i can see myself in that space yeah it's like facebook for real you know (laughs) (laughs) not just on the internet yeah um when we went there we we didn't get to see mark zuckerberg but i mean if that wasn't deal break or anything (laughs) But, um, (laughs) but we were just it was amazing the whole atmosphere like what asha said and then in my perspective it was just like everyone seemed very happy and it seemed like a very nice environment and when you think about coding you don't really think about it like how people like how it looks at facebook you think about it like someone slaving away at a computer but it's not that at all it really isn't it's it's a very fun thing to do and when you can when you learn it and when you wrap your mind around it it's a great thing right it seems as if facebook is bringing the fun to coding yeah yeah it's the environment's um very fun so now the app has gotten a lot of press attention and how have you found that you all are are actually quite skilled at dealing with the press i must say even not being an actual press person myself but you have great answers how did you um how long did it take your what how did you go about figuring out how to answer some of these kinds of questions and not have uh, people get you riled up against the police and things like that? Um, well, I would say before, right before our first interview, and uh, Ash and Caleb were both at school, so I had to talk to them on the phone in the car. And um, but before, right before the interview, I was like, right, we were writing down possible questions. My mom helped me strategize how best to respond to like certain questions, and also, I guess after the first two interviews we were getting some of the same questions, so it was easy for us to, you know, well, we're probably going to hear these questions, so we should probably just make responses that we're all comfortable with and we know exactly, like, concisely how to answer them. So I guess just practice it first and then planning. (laughs) That is pretty awesome. I know executives that aren't that good at that. (laughs) I'm I'm taking pointers right now. (laughs) Yeah, we're learning. (laughs) This is good. Um, So... Where do you think um, the app can go from here? So you've kind of got it out there. People can report on issues. Um, You know, if you kind of go far into the future, what does the, you know, what will the world look like uh, when there's the right amount of communication and transparency between um, police and citizens? Well, I feel like ultimately um, 5.0 is definitely an app that we want all, all people to be able to use. We definitely feel like it's got a utility that, that any, any person from any age group can take advantage of. Um, just giving a voice and bringing customer service to interactions with law enforcement. In terms of the future, we have gotten emails from people in the UK, uh, Brazil, and um, the UK, Brazil, and Canada, Canada saying that this app would be useful w- where they live. So we definitely, from there, we've been thinking about expanding globally because we feel like there's a global utility to this to this right. type of app, and all people really want to be able to take charge of their interactions with law enforcement. Right, and we know that um, some countries in around the world, they don't have smartphones, so we're also trying to get it, uh, that function so that it can work with SMS, SMS. and they can submit their um, interaction reports through text messaging. So who came up with the name Five O? Well, our mom. She was a big fan. Of the show. <laughs> <laughs> she was a big fan of the show Hawaii Five O. And then when we when we presented her with the idea, she was like, "Well, why don't we just call it Five O?" And then that's where that happened. Right. <laughs> so yeah. But you go, now you're playing a little coy, and that you know that Five O is also like the street term. 
<laughs> the rap Wait, term for police. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. seen um, TV shows where like, here comes a 5 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we all just jumped on to that name after, you know, yeah, it's hearing it. Yeah, quirky and yeah. cool. So we were like, oh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Very good. Very good. You're all in high school now. Um, mm-hmm. So, and this is really a public service application. This is, uh, you know, one of the great things about it is, you know, you didn't do it to make money or you didn't do it to... Um, you know, be the next Mark Zuckerberg. You did it to make the world better. So, how far uh, do you go with the Five O app before you know? And and where do you think life takes you with college and everything in front of you? And uh, how how do you see it evolving over time, just with your own time and and what you're going to be able to do? Well, um, I feel like. In terms of, because I'm about, I'm a senior, so I'm about to go off to college. But we try to split our time when we get home to working on the app. But we definitely feel like, I mean, we've had offers from people who say that they're willing to help us on specific portions of the app. People who say, you know, we're willing to help you work on this, and we're willing to offer help on this. And we know that there are people who are um, a, a lot more skilled than we are in certain areas that could help us. So we're thinking of um, expanding just expanding the number of people who could help us work on it, like when we go to school and yeah. um, when we go off to college. Right. I mean, we're hoping that the app can, that we can continue progress with the app and um, add other people to our group and have them to work on it and rebuild it on a native, um, the native platforms mm-hmm. and change the UI and things like We have a, a lot of updates mm-hmm. for the application that we can use with, um, with the proper funding. And mm-hmm. so... We just really, we just really want to get the app up and running to the highest possible, a solid product. Right. We really yeah. want to make it solid. Yeah, we do have a fund me for um, five zero. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just well, go ahead, go ahead, pitch the fund me. Yeah. So, if anyone wants to fund us, you can go there. <laughs> yeah. So just yeah. Search five zero fund yeah. me. You should come up. Go fund me. You hear that? That's five zero fund me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And just search for that, and you will be able to help. And um, we're looking forward to also seeing the, I guess, the open source project um, mm-hmm. of 5.0. You guys can put that on GitHub? Yeah, we're going to, yeah. we were just told about GitHub yesterday. We didn't really use it before, but we really plan on. We know um, those guys if you need any help. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm it seems sure like they'd like to jump tool. in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so for all you developers out there, um, look for 5.0 on GitHub. And uh, maybe together we can all make the world a much safer place. Thanks for listening. This has been the A16Z podcast. Special thanks to the 5-0 team, Ema, Asha, Caleb, and our special guest, Nas. One love.